Good morning, everyone. Brian, Ramen Adventures here in Mitaka, just a little bit west of central Tokyo. And I'm here for another ramen school. That's right, I work with a few ramen schools. And uh, we're gonna showcase another one happening here in Mitaka. Maybe it's the ramen school for you. Stay tuned, let's make some ramen. The meeting place for this class is at the Mitaka Station Ticket Gate. Mitaka is just a short trip from Shinjuku Station. Super convenient. Today, we are joined by Guy, an MMA fighter who runs his own English school here in Tokyo. Sebastian from Nama TV Japan. French exchange student Seb. My private pilot Leo. And of course, the teacher, Miyajima Sensei. The school here has their own van available to pick us up each day for this five day ramen class. Let's go! All right, we've arrived here at the Sanuki Menki factory. So, actually, the school here is held at a noodle machine's Tokyo headquarters. So, it's kind of cool. We're going to use their test kitchen out here. We're going to use some of their badass noodle machines. And yeah, nice bonus. We got a pickup from the station. Drive us here, just uh, about a 10 minute drive. So let's, uh, let's make some ramen. Here's a rough schedule of the course and the things we'll cover. Of course, each day will involve eating as many as six different variations of ramen. So be sure to bring your appetite. Noodle lessons come from Nakano-san, who manages the noodle factory here. You'll learn about different kinds of ramen noodles, how to achieve optimal thickness for your ramen style, and of course, you'll learn how to use these professional noodle-making machines. It's all right, it's all right. <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah, I think a career change now. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Oh, you guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Go, go, go. That was tough. Sanuki Menki has been making professional noodle machines for over 60 years now. They're based out of Sanuki, which is the old name for an area in Shikoku famous for udon production. But they have distribution centers and support all over the world now. So if you want one of these professional albeit expensive machines, you can definitely start the process here. Making your own noodles is great, but it's the soup that you'll spend most of the class on. After some short lectures each day, it's into the kitchen. Ramen takes time, but we'll learn both simple and complex recipes. This ultra simple recipe uses ground meat instead of bones. Like most ramen soups, balance out the flavors with aromatics and umami-rich ingredients. By the way, this recipe appears in my book, Ramen at Home. Why don't you pick up a copy? Actually, it was Miyajima Sensei who helped me develop all the recipes for this particular cookbook. We make a double soup for this one. One broth is for the meat and one is for the fish. It only takes a few hours from start to finish. Like I said, a very simple recipe. After straining our soups, it's time for our first bowl. Everyone gets a quick lesson on plating it up, and we all make our own. Plating up bowls of tasty ramen is a reoccurring theme here. Every day you'll be making bowl after bowl to try. From shoyu ramen to maze soba to heavy tonkotsu. Efficiently plating a bowl is a very important part of making ramen. Especially if you plan on opening a shop of your own. Itadakimasu! 
<laughs> oh man, that's so good. That's really good. <laughs> Crazy. Ah, oh, shoot. Really good. So good. Mm. So good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you make it yourself, it tastes 10 times better. <laughs> you know, at the best restaurants, right? Best aspect of the ramen school here: free Wi-Fi. <laughs> yes. Of course, this class spends a lot of time focusing on the different toppings. Look at this beautiful chashu. Time to make a more serious soup. One technique we'll learn is using a pressure cooker to make a creamy-style tonkotsu. Bones in. Bring it up to a boil and seal the pressure in. This is a serious professional piece of equipment. You have to cook the 10, uh, 10 hours normally. So, uh, so uh, if you use the pressure cooker, it's uh, just uh, 3 hours. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know how many shops overseas are using these? 70 or 80. 70 or 80? Yes. Wow. Okay. And in Japan? Uh, many. Uh, thousand. <laughs> 1,000. 1,000. While the bone soup is cooking, we made some different aromatic oils to go with the finished product. Spicy Ryu. Burnt Garlic Mayu. Aromatic oils are an easy way to add variety to your ramen. One soup base, infinite possibilities. Since we're making a creamy soup, some stronger spicy ground pork will make for a nice topping. Fire up that wok. This time we used our creamy soup to make some spicy tonton men. Buttery rich pork soup and hot chilies is a match made in heaven. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And yeah, we learned all these hot spicy oils. Tell us what you think. Better, yeah. <laughs> what better to make than a nice tonton men? Mmm. Wow. Yeah, it's got a nice big kick, but we use this uh, sesame in our homemade sesame tare, sesame paste, and that uh, kind of mellows out the heat level, so we are good. Mmm. Gochi so sama, that was good. So nice to make your own bowl of ramen. It's, it's easy, it feels easy when you have all this awesome equipment to work with. These noodle machines, pressure cooker, even just the big pots and pans, you know, really makes life easier. And yeah, awesome. So if you're interested in joining up one of these classes, we'll have these in Mitaka two, three, maybe even four times a year. Check the link in the description for a schedule of upcoming classes. Each class is only really a space for four or five people, we think. So not a huge class in terms of number of people, but yeah, we want to keep it small enough so that everyone has a chance to 
really learn and uh, kind of get some hands-on experience. We'll be making all different kinds of ramen. Uh, chinton soups, python soups, spicy, miso, skamen, maze soba. It's gonna cover the whole gamut of ramen here in the five days. And a cool little bonus, every time we have one of these five day classes, I'm gonna come out one day and take you guys on a ramen tour of the local area. So we'll make noodles in the morning here and then uh, we'll hit the road and uh, check out some awesome ramen shops. You know, here in Mitaka, here in sort of West Tokyo, there's some great ramen going on. And uh, yeah, we'll crush a couple bowls. So yep, yeah, hit me up, link in the description. Ramen schools all over Japan. Ramen adventures, I'm out of here. Thank you.